welcome to my channel. Here today I've done a fun Chewbacca look. And you can check out my awesome tutorial being shown in five, four, three, two, hit it folks. All right, you all, it is game time. Time to get our faces ready for the Chewbacca. I'm using the Miron Paradise Paint face paint. I'll be going using mainly the yellow and the brown. But first things first, we gotta get that whole yellow line going on. So. I'm using the black paradise paint. I'm going over my nose. Gentle strokes, water activated. Make sure you have water, otherwise this can't happen. And then the same thing again, just with my eyes. Basically, I just want to get that darkness around my eyes and my nose and the um, upper part of my lip. This Chewbacca looks like he has a little bit of a mustache going on and that works for me. And be sure once the paint's kind of dry and tacky, you use the brush to kind of just pull out a little bit more of that color. That way it's not these perfect circles because obviously we're trying to mimic fur and um, fur doesn't really go in perfect circles. And Terry. And so here I'm adding a little bit of a mustache business because when I see photos or I see him in videos, he seems to have a mustache to me. I just, I see mustache. So I'm going with that. Glossy. All right, so now I'm using a bit of that brown color from my Paradise Paints. I mixed it with a tad bit of yellow to kind of make like a sienna burnt orange color. This is just so I can help to lift the color a little bit in the center of my face because Chewbacca, um, he's not all the same color all the way around. There's definitely some nuances and some um, gradient shades in his fur. So I'm using gentle brush strokes, kind of just get the palette as even as possible. All right, now I'm using just regular yellow. Nothing else is being mixed into this. It's just pure pigment. And I added a bit of brown underneath also. So when I start working in that yellow, it kind of turns into a lighter shade of brown without me having to mix too much with the um, colors in the palette. Keeps it cleaner, I think. And so I'm taking these brush strokes and I'm moving them from the center of my face towards the outer area. And I find that that helps me to pull that fur, that fur texture, that fur movement. And then after that, I start to blend it in just so it's not super, super yellow. Now I'm just dotting in some more of that yellow pigment and I'm using like these like kind of coarser strokes, shorter, and I'm using a little bit less water than I would to give a full wash because I want kind of that texture. It helps look a bit more realistic and less cartoony, I think. And at this point, it really is just a matter of patience. You have to kind of just play with it to kind of get that furry look because I found it to be rather difficult. Obviously, I'm not every artist, but if others are into that thing, they can definitely um, play with it longer than me. But at that point, I was like, yeah, we're gonna progress on. And so I'm using just another pure form of brown, taking some light strokes, shorter strokes, and I'm adding it toward the um, my forehead area, down the bridge of my nose, under my cheeks, all in the same direction. And now I'm going in with a little bit darker. I mixed the black and brown together a little bit, just so it wasn't pure black. That same thing, those light strokes going from the inside out. All right, so towards the end, I actually took one of the brushes and I dipped it in water because obviously the Paradise paints are water activated. And I drew a nice sort of like clear streak down here until I got rid of the, um, See that? Yeah, I got rid of the um, the black in the middle to kind of give it a separation line. And then I outlined my lips here in the Ben Nye. This is TK Cream Kit Brown Medium Dark Contour Wheel. I actually used the Sienna color, which is that like oranges color here. And then I used the Vampire Red here for the inside of my lips and the Sienna for the outside of my lips. And that kind of just 
brought everything together. I definitely fumbled back and forth a little bit with the mustache. I was looking like a mix between Hulk Hogan and a sloth at one point, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with it. And um, yeah, there you are. So for you Chewbacca enthusiasts, for you um, people who have yet to be awakened by the force, if you want to like do cosplay things or if you're just a Wookiee enthusiast, then this is where you should be. And be sure and check out one of the videos. I will be adding them in shortly and soon. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, rant, share, be infuriated, whatever floats your boat. Either way, it's all good. All right, y'all. See you later. <laughs>